All right, in this lesson, we're going to talk about combining our thumb and our fingers together and what's called the free stroke. We learned the rest stroke last lesson. Now we're going to learn the free stroke, which is basically you're just picking the string and you're kind of doing a circular motion. You're not resting on the next string. You're just, you're just picking it freely, free stroke. So just try doing the free stroke a couple times with your thumb and then maybe our now when you pick with your fingers you're kind of bending at, at you're not just bending on this first joint you're bending kind of both kind of snapping it back in towards your palm. So just practice doing that a couple times so you get kind of comfortable with that free stroke. Okay, now let's let's do a couple exercises. Uh, first one's real easy. We're just gonna finger an A an, an E minor chord. We're gonna pick the thumb on the low E string, the G string with our first finger, the B string with our second finger, and the high E string with our third finger. And then we're gonna go back up. Hit the B string with our second finger and the G string with our first finger. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of a first exercise to get your thumb and your fingers working together. So just do that a couple of times. When you're comfortable with that, we can move on to exercise two, which is basically the same um, finger picking pattern, but we're gonna apply some chords to it. So we're gonna go E minor, then we're gonna go G. So we're still using the same exact pick pattern. Low E string, G, B, high E, B, G. Make sure you're using all three fingers. This is A minor. Same thing, except now on an A minor chord, we don't have a note on the low E string, so we're just playing open A as our bass note with our thumb. Back to E minor. So all together, Okay, so that's it for this lesson. When you can get that down and can play that pretty smoothly, then it's time to move on to the next lesson.